All right, so I'm here to talk about a, a hopping cultural event that's going on. So as you probably have heard, there are like clowns running amok in the street, just like people dressing up as clowns and just thinking it's a good idea to just walk around and scare the heck out of people. So I'm going to talk about one, whether or not it's as scary as people sound, two, should the police be involved? And three, should I personally be worried about it? <laughs> so, one, is it scary? Yes. Duh. It is terrifying. Like, what? <laughs> I remember I first heard about this in, like, July-ish. Just, like, one clown in Wisconsin or something. I'm just like, you know, you do you, dude. Like, you're creepy, but there's nothing wrong with that. Like, <laughs> there are plenty of creepy people in the world, you know? You dressing up like a clown, you know, you're not hurting anyone, like, that's okay. Uh, but now there are like tons of clowns and it's happening all over the country. And there are tons of videos of people, like, finding these clowns. Most of them look pretty staged, which is fine because that still just means that there are people dressing up like clowns and thinking that's a good idea. And some of them are carrying like weapons now and like chasing people around with knives and no one's actually gotten hurt, but still being chased around by a clown, that seems really scary. So should the cops get involved? Now, obviously you can't arrest someone just for being creepy. They have to actually do something. I don't know if cops have done anything about it yet. Not that I've heard of. I don't even know what they would do or how they would start to do it. And then the other thing is, should I be concerned about it? And I am concerned about it because things... I live in Nebraska and clowns are popping up in Lincoln, which is not too far from me. And there have been some popping up in Omaha which is pretty concerning. Random news articles is talking about how police are even saying not to be violent towards these clowns because the clowns aren't doing anything because apparently people are arming themselves for this impromptu clown apocalypse. And they're saying like, don't shoot these clowns that you see. It's just like, even if they're chasing you around with a knife, don't, don't defend yourself. I mean, and there are also videos where it's like, there are several different reactions that the people have. They either are in a car and they're just like, holy cow, I'm driving away from this clown. Or they try and like scare it off like it's an animal or something. But maybe we should just try talking to the clowns. Just be like, hey dude, are you okay? Or maybe talk to them and get some evidence that they're a part of a weird satanic clown cult and can get this get these people locked up so I don't know I don't know if the cops can do anything I don't know if they will hopefully this all just dissipates and it'll, it'll just be a distant memory and I can tell my kids be like oh yeah summer summer slash fall of 2016 just random clowns started popping up everywhere and terrorized people for a little bit but then it ended by the time we got to October and it was no big deal and no one died over these clowns I'm so like there are definitely going to be news stories popping up soon. It's just like, you know, redneck shoots clown or like clown actually kills someone, you know, like what a time to be alive. All right. Peace out. Impromptu clown apocalypse.